another episode of Robo Fett. So today I'm just going to jump uh, straight into the topics. First, I want to talk about Dragon Ball Super. I am really, really, really excited. They've just announced that they're going to make a new, well, they didn't just announce. I'm kind of behind the eight ball with these, so sorry about that, but I did want to express how I feel about each of these topics. They have announced that they're making a new Dragon Ball, and it's going to be pretty good. Actually, we don't know that, but Akira Toriyama, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, uh, as you know, he had everything to do with Dragon Ball Z all the way up through the Boo Saga, not really GT. Um, He's back. He's done Battle of the Gods. He's done The Return of F, and now he's doing this new show, and I'm guessing this new show is going to take place after those two movies. In the past, movies really have not had anything to do with the show, but apparently, these days, the movies are important. Apparently, he's going to be helping out with the show, and I'm guessing this is totally negates Dragon Ball GT, which, um, I know there's just a lot of Dragon Ball GT fans out there. I respect it. It had a lot of cool things about it. That being said, it's not my favorite. So really, it doesn't break my heart too much, but for you Dragon Ball GT fans, I feel for you. All we are is just in the world. Boy, they kind of did the same thing to us with Star Wars, with all of us who loved that expanded universe stuff. They kind of just got rid of most of it and kept that Boba Fett's alive, supposedly. I told you what's good, I told you what I'm excited about for it. Here's what I'm worried about. I haven't seen Return of F, I'm waiting for it to be translated so I can get the full experience when I watch it. I pretty much know a lot of the spoilers that do happen in it, unfortunately. The internet, what you gonna do? As everyone well knows. It's been over 9,000 for a while. The problem with Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, whatever, is that it keeps compounding and pounding. I'm stronger than you, no, I'm stronger than you, no, I'm stronger than you. And there gets to a point where you just can't, you just can't, you just can't climax. Oh. You just can't reach that height. You've hit the ceiling. Like the ceiling can't hold us. I don't know, what are they gonna keep doing? I know at the beginning of Battle of Gods, he said, oh, there's all these people that are more, even more powerful than us, and all that stuff, and, you know, it was leading into that, who knows. But, I mean, what are they going to do? They already have red hair, now they're going to have blue hair, we all saw the pictures. Now what, are they going to do, like, then the green hair, then the pink hair, and then you turn invisible, and the invisible say, I'm an invisible cyan, you can't see me. So, that's something I'm worried about, but as long as he's involved, I'm sure everything will pan out fine. Pretty much a review of that Dragon Ball Super, I'm... Really excited for that. Recently, they just announced that Iceman has come out of the closet. As we all know, this isn't the first X-Men that uh, has come out of the closet. There was one, the name is escaping me right now, but it happened back in 1992. You guys get the picture. They've been changing a lot in the superhero world. Uh, Falcon took over for Captain America. Thor is now a god S. And I know there's there's been a lot circulating around the fact maybe Iron Man has come out of the closet as well. There's nothing officially confirming that yet. I'm not gonna go into this a lot, but I will say this. So far, I kind of just feel like they're doing it to be politically correct. I have nothing against them changing things to progress story. I have nothing against them changing things or picking something to make things better. That being said, Iceman coming out of the closet, I don't I, I don't really know who this is for. Do they think now that the homosexual community is like, Iceman's gay now, I'm gonna go buy the comics. I mean, maybe they will, who knows? And maybe this will be a great thing. However, me personally, I, I just don't see how it's advancing the story. I feel the same thing about the other two. I, 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 I just don't know how changing characters that have been one way for a long time all at once, it just seems sort of like maybe we're trying to be politically correct here. I could be wrong though. This could be also Disney kind of signifying to us, hey, we control Marvel now. We decide what happens. So we're just gonna do what we think is best for Marvel. You know what, Disney? You own Marvel. I don't, so you guys can pretty much do whatever you want. Really, at the end of the day, it's not gonna affect me, okay? The fictional characters. I haven't picked up or read an X-Men comic in a while. So really, what's happening in the comic books right now doesn't affect me. The heroes like they were when I was growing up, to me, that is what will always be and what always will be. And you know what? These heroes should be to what everybody, whatever they want them to be, personally. Sure, some mainstream can tell you what's happening. Sure, Disney can tell us, hey, the expanded universe never happened. That doesn't make it so to me. If I want in my universe for the expanded universe to have existed, who's Disney to tell me otherwise? So the fact that they're changing all this stuff, it really doesn't bother me. And you know what? If it helps them in sales or if it helps a certain different demographic feel 
closer to superheroes, then that's that, you know? It is what it is. And that's all I have to say about that. All right, once again, I'm behind the eight ball here, but I did just want to share that I went and saw Mad Max Fury Road, and I've seen a lot of people just really, really, really hyping this movie, and I thought it was really, really good. That being said, people have told me that this movie is the best they've seen all year, better than Avengers. I don't think so. First off, I always liked Mel Gibson in the role. I know he's not the most popular right now, but I don't see why they couldn't have cast him maybe as an older Max. I mean, because these movies are clearly taking place after the three Mad Max movies that have already been released. Tom Hardy does bring a lot of cool things to the role. I love Tom Hardy. He was awesome. He was awesome as Bane. He was awesome in Inception. He's pretty much great in anything he does. And he brought his own sort of things to Mad Max. I just prefer the Mel Gibson because that's what I grew up with. That's what I know. Also, I mean, that being said, I'm not going to get into spoilers, but there's this awesome character in it called Furiosa. She is just incredible. The whole movie, you're rooting for her. But I don't feel like you should be. And I don't feel like you shouldn't support her as a character. What I'm saying is, I feel like they should have called this Furiosa Road. Because the whole movie, you're watching Furiosa kick butt. I want to see some more Furiosa. You don't really see any real great fight scenes with Mad Max. The one, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the one scene where you want to see him fight and be awesome, they don't even show it. The one scene, and you're not going to show it? The one scene where he's going to wreck everybody, and you're not going to show that? I don't understand. I don't understand it. That being said, I did enjoy the movie. Oh, and is it just me, or did the bad guy kind of remind you of Bane? And isn't it funny that Tom Hardy had to wear a metal thing over his face, kind of like Bane's mask, throughout the first half of the movie? I mean, just saying. The lack of dialogue in this movie is you're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. I actually did kind of like it. The one thing's for sure, if you want to see a movie that's action-packed, this is it. There's a freaking guy playing a guitar with flames shooting out of it, driving on top of a truck. What other movie are you gonna get that? But it's not 10 out of 10, it's not my favorite of the year, and to be honest with you, it's not my favorite Mad Max movie. But definitely, go see it in the theaters. Go support this movie. George Miller came back, and he did an awesome job. So, go support his movie. Give him your manies. Well guys, I hope this video didn't go on too long. I wanna thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Hey, you don't have to, but when you do, it really helps me out. Tell me, what do you think about Dragon Ball Super? You think it's gonna be awesome? You have some concerns about it? What do you think about it? Do you have some insight that maybe I don't? Iceman coming out of the closet, them changing Marvel characters, them changing Star Wars. What do you think about that stuff? Let me know in the comments below. Mad Max Fury Road. Was it your favorite movie of the year? Did you dislike it? Did you like it? Did you feel like it should have been called Furiosa Road? You know what you gotta do? You gotta let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, till next time, keep your Punisher hats on, and I'll see you later.